Uh, let's go ahead and do red shirting. I am gonna red shirt Eric Newman. Did I? Yeah, no, we got that right. I'm hoping he doesn't leave us. That would really suck. <laughs> but hopefully he recognizes that JB Beard already tried to go pro once. If he's a top three pick, he's gonna we have to let him go by our rules. So hopefully he Um recognizes the opportunity to sit a year and ball out and doesn't leave us. I'm gonna red shirt one of these two. I actually probably could have made this dude. He's got decent speed. Can he walk on? I might need to make this into a patron too, because he's not bad. But I think I'll red shirt Flores. Yeah, we'll we'll leave we'll leave that guy. Logan, we're gonna redshirt him. Connor Colby. Somewhat tempted to redshirt Wilfong, but We'll leave him. He makes plays for us, so we'll keep him as our fourth. Going to redshirt both these tight ends. They'll get in the development cycle there. Michael White, going to redshirt him. Going to redshirt Alex Tracy here. Dittmar's young offensive line. But basically, this entire freshman class is getting redshirted. Gonna do it to the corners here. Let's look ahead while we're in this, in this, um, at kind of what we got to recruit. So quarterback, we're good. Running back. We're pretty good, but if something arises, we could add someone. Fullback, we're definitely good. Wide receiver, I want to add like a superstar, but we have some young depth. Tight end, we're kind of good, but if someone's interested, we'll add them. Definitely need tackles. So I would say a receiver, tackles. Our interior group is good. We're not going to really upgrade it at this point, but we need... We need a tackle at least. If we get like a superstar tackle, that'd be huge. And then D line is like fine. Do we have anyone that's like really exciting here? I mean, not really. None of these guys project as like superstars at any point. D tackle could probably add someone. Our linebackers are young, fast, and athletic. So our linebackers are good. Corners, we're actually in really good shape for the future, but we could add a star. Safety, we're good. So, and we need a kicker and a punter. So I'm going to start, I'm going to maybe add a little bit different style this year add our needs first and then look at like the top guys oh wow that's interesting the number one quarterback has us number one guys what the heck? That'd be that'd be crazy to have that quarterback competition. I don't know what this guy would play. Is he another quarterback? Maybe because our quarterback is so good, these guys love our Yeah, he's another quarterback, but I'm not going to add him cuz he's got a 7th But I want to look first at find like a top receiver that likes us. Calvin Johnson. <laughs> he looks good, but I'm not going to I'm just going to find someone that's actually interested in us.
the receivers are actually not digging it this year. So we'll we'll leave it there for now. Um, ooh. Okay. I like that. And this guy, he's got 4.54 four speed. Okay, I really like that. This guy's got a chance to be good too. There we go. We got a Minnesota boy. The tackle's recognizing the opportunity here. Anyone that is potentially over 70 here. Wow, lots of dudes. All tackles. Okay, the offensive linemen, I love it. Aren't playing around this year. Yes, please. We need a star defensive end. I don't know why the heck this guy's 6'1", 225. I'd probably just edit that because that's stupid. But... This guy's a 69. He's got a chance. Okay, Brandon. If the Minnesota tackle commits, it'll be me. Bet. Not a whole lot of D-tackle interest here. One guy from Georgia. Michigan. That guy's probably a long shot. Outside backers. The number one guy has us third. It's worth adding. He's 6'2", 4'6", speed. Middle linebackers. Coming for your job, Brandon. And then corner. Could add a star if someone really likes us. Ooh, 432 speed from Florida. Yes, please. And then the kicker punter. Definitely got to add a kicker punter. This guy doesn't look too bad. He's from Michigan, which would be good for our pipeline. So we'll do that. Although this guy's kind of a stud too. This punter's got us first, so that's our only goal there. And then athletes. Potentially a receiver there that has us first. Probably receiver here, six foot five. Oh, a quarterback. No, no, no. He's a yeah, six foot five defensive back? No, thank you. You're too weird for me. This is probably a linebacker. Quarterback. Okay, 31 players on the board. What comp did I not like, Ready Boom? I missed it. I missed what you guys were talking about. Oh my god, this guy's insane. 96 accuracy coming out? And he's got us number one. Wow, okay, we're gonna have a, a QB battle. Tua's ceiling is Drew Brees. I mean, the problem with that is technically every player in the NFL's ceiling is Drew Brees because his athletic traits are just not. Oh my god, a lot of these tackles are good. We're going to have to make a make some decisions here. Oh, let's go. We're going to be able to get we're going to be able to get some tackles this year. That's Oh shit. We're getting some tackles. Get off my board. Get off the board, Jason Jones. We are getting some tackles this year. Hell yeah. 
I'm gonna keep all those guys on there. Oh my god, all right. We are gonna get some freaking stars. Where does this guy have us? Yes! Oh man. We are in business chat. Oh! Oh! Are you kidding me? We hit the gold mine this year. We're going to the Super Bowl chat. What? Like, we might as well... And they all have us pretty high. Insane. Yeah, ready, boom. Don't question it. We're going to the Super Bowl. Alright. I mean, we don't need all these guys, but let's keep them all on there for now. Yes, we'll scout. Let's scout the DNs, make sure they're actually rock stars. Eh. Eh. Hey, there we go. There's one. Chris Greer. Isn't that the, the Dolphins GM? Let's just make sure this kicker's good. Oh yeah. Pretty poor kick power, but I'm fine with it. Whew. Alright, if we can execute this class after already just having a top 10 class. Chris Greer ain't my guy. Yeah, I'm not, like, ecstatic about Chris Greer. I don't think he's miserable, but I just don't always agree with the, his moves. Should I do a Bowling Green or a UNLV rebuild? Um, I would go UNLV myself. Okay, custom schedule. We clearly got to stay easy because, geez, we open against Nebraska? I don't want to open against Nebraska. at home too okay we're gonna open against fcs midwest west virginia beat us last year but oh nice we got we have two naturally good recruiting weeks iowa week 17 and michigan should we get our bowling green revenge guys let's get our bowling green revenge and let's get our west virginia revenge let's have some confidence this year kraken got a blurb we'll read you a blurb when we advance here but that's the schedule this year Mike McCarthy or Doug Peterson? I would probably take Doug Peterson, but God, I would fire either of those immediately. Just got to do our depth chart. That's right, Trey. Nebraska's been a thorn in our side this uh, this series. Blaze Benson is our backup running back. What the heck? Jonah Bell. So I'm actually going to make Drew Smith. Look at our top two receivers got 99 speed. Torres is going to do a good job getting ready in the slot there. I like it. Who's the better run blocker for our number two tight end? It's actually going to be Chowdhury, who's actually faster too. Young O-line. Both our tackles are juniors, I think. So at least we get everyone back. <laughs> oh, no, our... Yeah, our right tackle... Right tackle's a sophomore. At least we're developing this group together. D-end. I think we probably want to go chip Jordan, actually, at left end. I 
got Dylan Block, Trey, we got a couple senior D tackles, David Johansson. That all works for me. Um, we're starting Cosby. And Boomfield, Bromfield. Do we have two? Oh, shoot. Did I? I made two Ash Bromfields? I got to fix that. We got to remind me to go change the second Ash, Ash Bromfield to a different patron. Or I'll just make him like Blake Martinez or something. Okay, I guess we're starting Albert Smith, who's a senior. He's not too bad. Got Laduka, Steve Ross, Sam Stone. We are going to start. I'm starting Greenwald. I'm starting. The, I'm sorry, Maurice. But uh, this guy's just got the better upside. He's younger, faster. And then we got. I want to start uh, Eshman. I like our our freshman safeties. These guys are sweet. Returning kicks. Man, hard not to give it to uh, Jonah Bell, but I don't want him to get hurt. So we'll go Drew Smith on kicks. And punts will go... We'll do we'll have Torres do punts. Okay. How much does age go into my draft grades? What's up, Lisa B? That's right, we're still streaming. We got a lot ahead of us still. <laughs> That's the end of our preseason. Age definitely matters as far as development track. Like, if you're 21 and you're gradually getting better, I'm going to have more confidence than a guy that was 23 and just had a big breakout season, like, as far as developing. I, I don't know. It, it's definitely something I consider. I think there's something to be said about a guy that Especially at a non-quarterback position. Quarterback, I mean, quarterback's going to take time regardless. But if I'm between a similar corner who's 21 and a corner who's 24, I'm probably taking the guy who's 21, you know? All right, I'm going to grab a cheese stick. Oh, you want the Tylen Wallace. All right. Next advance. I got gotcha. you. Let's finish our scouting. Actually, I'm going to do scholarships first for everyone who has this first. If we get this guy to commit on the first week, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to be very ecstatic. Oh. Damn, I wanted some of these guys. Come on. We struck out there. Jeez, none of you? No one wants to be a Terp? We have like a 20% chance or something that would get some of these dudes. Nobody. Yikes, no day one commits. That sucks. So who have we not scouted now? Honestly, it's the only... I'll save scouting him. Okay, these guys are pretty good tight ends. I'm not going to scout the punter.
not too worried about you or you. I'll, I'll do them later, but I need some of these points for this week. All right, this guy's got us number one. So I'm gonna start a little mellow. Same here, let's go like 500 here. I think we should just go with the offensive linemen that have us one. So we got all these tackles. Like, we can't get all of them and they can't all play. So I think. I mean, we're in. We have a great bonus boost on. On this dude so it's like I think we go there and then pick let's just pick one of these dudes let's line them up next to each other why was 28 year old weed in a first round pick because the Cleveland Browns that's why that's my final answer he didn't even have like he wasn't even athletic that was such a unbelievable pick So this guy's a gem, which means we might have an easier job recruiting him. And this guy's a gem. So I almost, oh, and we have a bonus boot. We're going Andy Wall. That's actually a pretty easy decision now that I line them up. And then these dudes, like, I'll keep them on the board, but especially like this dude, maybe we should throw some points in there. We're a little far behind on this guy, but he's a gem. Maybe this is the one we should just take off our board and not really worry about, or just lower him. And then the DNs are okay. They're not like star players, but this guy is a gem. He's just not very fast, but that's okay. We'll leave those guys where they are. Although I think I'll slide these tight ends. So this guy's fast. He's 6'5". I really like both these dudes. I'm gonna go after both of these guys fairly hard, I think. We have some tight ends in there, but none of them are difference makers, and our good tight end right now is a senior. I do need to try my best to get these this kicker. And the punter. Otherwise, we're going to end up with walk-ons. So let's put a priority there. guy is pretty damn good so let's try to get him we'll have more points to spend next week too and then let's just split the rest of these points up between these two guys Maybe get Chris Cannon some points too. Let's see if he's any good. He's all right. That's 15 players. 13 actually getting points right now. It's a good start. So we have a blurb to read. We're simming against FCS. Hopefully we win. Thank you for the follow, Emery Stevens. Number five, Nebraska next week. Our team overall is a 90. We have a pretty big drop off this year. What's up, Sergeant Butt Whooping? 
So hopefully we beat FCS. 52 to 14. I like it. Good start for the offense and the defense. Okay, Nebraska is number four. Let's see how our stats were against FCS. Good start for JB Beard. Wow. Splitting up the workload a little bit in the run game. Jonah Bell, good start. Three touchdowns, showing off that 99 speed. Wow. Defensively, oh, I got to fix. Uh, we got two Ash Brown fields. I got to fix that. This is a huge game. Three picks. Gus Greenwald. Sam Stone, too. He had a bunch as a freshman, as a non-starter, and now he's in the slot. But uh, Gus Greenwald, I am super, super excited about him. I think he's got a great upside for us. Uh, but, yeah, I got to fix. I'm not going to throw a patron on that. Second Ash Bromfield. I'll just make him. Uh, I'll make him my my brother-in-law, John Flowers. I don't know how I uh, screwed that up. Although he's not bad. He's actually not bad. Let's go ahead and. Jack Herbert. You are now Ash Bromfield. Trayton has redeemed a blurb. Okay. Try to read it before we... Is that you, FIFA? Are you Jack Herbert? You want Spencer Brown from Northern Iowa. Good suggestion. I will do that as we load up this game against Nebraska. What's up, DGB time? Oh, nice. We are in good position for this quarterback, which means we're going to have a pretty epic quarterback battle. Not always the best case, but not something I'm going to complain about. Okay, we're getting pushed on this dude and this dude, so let's crank them up. We're getting pushed here. We will have an offensive line. My goodness. We never sent this guy a scholarship, so let's do that. Ooh, okay. We can still get some of these commits. Ah, man. Is this guy not getting recruited? Let's see. Oh, North Carolina's going after him. This guy's going quick. I like it. Let's bump him up. Nice. Nice. We can probably take them down a little bit if they're not getting recruited heavily. Nice. We're getting a good push there. Maybe we could get a commit, maybe? Someone's got to say yes. There it is. It was only mathematically about time. Chris Greer, welcome to the squad. We're also going to go after Mike Woods. And then... I think we're pretty good to leave the board down. Although these D-backs... I just don't know if we have the ability to really go after them. This guy's not getting recruited too heavily, so maybe we can get a safety in here. Try and get some more points for him next week. Hopefully he'll be a better D-end than a GM. Ouch. Some of these guys will actually be keeping their names in the future. We're running out of patrons to fill in the names for. Huge game against Nebraska. Winnable. Won't be easy. I 
think I think I might try the throwbacks. Actually got some decent alternate combinations here. I don't mind the red outs, but yeah, let's try the let's try the throwbacks. Does Nebraska have a throwback? They got it, right? Ooh, look at this conference, man. Iowa, Nebraska, Minnesota, Wisconsin. That's just on the other side. Starting with a delay of game. Great first play of the season. They are loading this box. Can we do like a... Can we challenge, challenge them vertically right away? Man, we had a chance. I think Laduca is the second kick returner. Yeah. Oh! With the jukes, Drew Smith. What's my comp for him? Uh, Brett Hundley low comp, Marcus Mariota high comp for uh, Kellen Mond, which I actually really like that. Blaze Benson is the backup at every O-line spot. Okay, I got to change that. We don't want him coming in. Remind me to fix that after. Possible Dak. Yeah, I mean, Dak, kind of. It's decent. But I, I'm not prepared to uh, say he has the ceiling of Dak Prescott. I think he's also a little faster than Dak. Live to see another day there. Maybe we could uh, shake him on that corner route, but nope. Third and ten. I'm gonna I'm gonna call an actual player. Jonah Bell's got that impact star now. Oh, let's go get it yeah Alex Wilfong dude just moves the sticks let's go that was a heck of a play way to trust the trust the read beautiful so remember I promised the running back we'd get him involved in the receiving game so I do need to make a little bit of a deliberate effort to run him some check downs some screens don't need to go over the top but I think I promised him like 30 receptions I do still have the what's my favorite team response. Oh my god. Thank God it didn't get picked, but that was crazy good coverage. Clearly lowering the coverage sliders isn't uh, impeding our difficulty here. It's still tight-ass coverage. Granted, this is a really good team, but... Dropped. I did grow up a Packers fan in Minnesota. Yes, sir. All right, that was an ugly, ugly throw. I'm glad that didn't get picked. Let's take our field goal. We're playing five drives in this game. 
Good kick. I should have paid attention to what that said. I couldn't tell if that was Iowa beat Wisconsin or Iowa beat Ohio State or the other way around. Either way, it's interesting with the way Ohio State's falling apart. Good job, D. Let's go. Got that ball back. Ohio State beat Iowa. Okay, so Ohio State's trying to make a program comeback this year. Damn. Why is the Pene Sewell Jamar Chase conversation so decisive? I or I think you mean divisive is probably what you meant. Yeah, it's uh it's brutal, dude. I like either to the Bengals. I think either could work. And either I think would be pretty fun. I do miss Dijon Mustard McDougal. I'm not going to lie. But we got some good young playmakers. going to be interesting having a 93 speed quarterback three points out of two drives I don't like that hopefully the defense steps it up ah. all right let's hop back in God, now they're uh, let's stick with the run we got good look there you go good good freaking run God, you came back, Ash Soden. Thank God. Kuchki. Oh, he was going to get up. Man, we are on hour four of the stream. Good blocking. Let's go. I told you we'd get you more involved in the receiving game, Ash Soden. We deliver our promises here at, at the University of Maryland where you wanted to leave. And you're, you're returning the favor, too. run beautiful looking drive they won't see this coming no why did I do that oh let's go Lions Woo. I should not have freaking pitched that. That was so dumb. That could have been such a bad moment on our season, but Lions saved the day. Woo! There you go. That was a huge, huge save. QB breaks some tackles. We should, he's an underrated runner. He does not have the speed, but he definitely breaks some tackles. I just got to be careful on those speed options, but we could get him a little more involved in the running game, I think. Oh, let's go. Nice try. Big play right here. Probably four down territory for me, though. Let's go, Jonah Bell. Great anticipation on that hitch. Whew. All right. That was drive number three. So let's go to the next quarter. Or let's go to the third quarter. Drive, baby. We're driving again. Nice. Let's go, baby.
Yes! A touchdown right before half. That was so big. If we get a stop here, go score, take a three-score lead. Man, it's almost like we don't need to we don't need to play, but I think we I think we should stay with it. We've blown some second half leads that have been pretty painful in the past, so. Let's stick with it. I like Jonah Bell in this crossing route if we can block it. Yeah, we'll take that. The fullback, freshman fullback looking good. That was a nice uh Nice play. Good throw by Beard on the run. Oh! Go! Nice run. Will Colbert. Okay. Oh, jeez. Borderline horse collar. Oh, the the spin move didn't register. Touchdown. Oh shit! Jonah Bell, are you serious? You like that? That was nasty. Okay, we still get one drive. Let's do the next drive. Let's see if we get a defensive stop. Hell yeah. I think Jonah, oh, Jonah Bell's tired. I was gonna go for a... Heat check is the word I was looking for. Is it our year? It might be, Real Scout. This would be a huge win, man. Convincing win over number four, Nebraska. You kidding me? Can't start much better than that. This old line's doing pretty good, I'd say. play what a day for JB Beard 99 overall rock star oh my goodness oh my goodness we didn't even block the guy okay Jonah Bell heat check blitz is on Oh, let's go. Get it to him. Drag your feet. Woo! JB Beard. He's got to be the number one pick right now, right? Dude's going off. He's oh, trying to kick that out. Definitely getting those receptions in there for Soden. get rid of it I'm gonna get his uh, reception promise in the first freaking game of the year eight receptions love to see the coach delivering what he promised Another one. Oh, geez. I don't know who number 39 is or why he's in at center, but I do not like the look of this. I'm going to call a timeout. Reyes. I think it was our fullback. Four down territory. I'm going to go for it. Nope. 
nowhere to go. Okay, that's all we can play until the two-minute warning. So hopefully we finish strong here. We've got a three-touchdown lead. We left them with a long way to go. We get a stop. Come on, go finish them. All right, we got this. Let's go. Big, fat, W's, chat. Is this our year? JB Beard doing it with a bunch of new linemen in there, new playmakers, fresh defense. I'm happy. I'm super happy with how our defense is performing because that held us back big time last year. 17 points against a 90, what are they, a 97 overall offense, Nebraska? We got a, we had a punt return touchdown, TLF. I did not catch that. It was probably either Laduca or Smith or the sophomore receiver, uh, Maximus or whatever. Dude, JB Beard, he's got to be on the Heisman watch. Ash Soden, what a day for him. He touched the ball like 36 times. Nine receptions. Jonah Bell has been crushing it. Freshman left guard playing well. Okay, defensively, Dylan Block, love it. No interceptions. And then we had a... Uh, I don't see a return touchdown for us guys. It must have been for them. Hmm. I think it was a, a fumble recovery maybe? I don't know. Huge win. Oh, I got it on the extra point. Okay, I probably wouldn't count it. They actually took us out of the ranking after we beat FCS, so. I think, uh, I think we'll jump to like 19. 19 or 18. We got Northwestern next week, which is going to be a sim. So we got to... Hold true, hopefully we can beat them, unless they're like a really good overall, but I think I'm gonna send that one. I'm gonna run and take a leak real quick, chat. <laughs> 